Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're starting from 10 and going to 1. Because today we're going through my top 10 rye whiskeys of 2021. Before I dive congested face first into this top 10 list, I need you to do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Clickety click clack. Click it or tick it. Number 10. Number 10 on my list is a bottle that I haven't yet to procure for myself, but I will as soon as I find one of these bad buzzards on a shelf. Number 10 on my list is Buzzard's Roost. Peated barrel finished rye whiskey. This MGP rye is a minimum of four years old and they flew this buzzard down to Kentucky where they finished it in a peat smoked barrel. Not a huge peat fan, but this peated barrel finished rye whiskey just gives you a hint, a hint of smoke on the back end that makes you go, hmm, the mother was that. Number 10 on my list, Buzzard's Roost, peated barrel finished rye whiskey. Number nine. Number nine on my list is another Indiana rye whiskey. It's another 95.5 MGP rye. I reviewed this bottle earlier in the year, but since then it's grown on me a little bit. It's grown on me enough to make my top 10 list. Coming in at number nine, it's Templeton rye. 10 year single barrel. It's 104 proof. It comes in a beautiful bottle with a 10 year age statement. It's got a little dangly do on the neck of the bottle, which makes you go, hmm? It's super fancy looking and super tasty. Templeton Rye, 10 year single barrel, number nine on my list of best rye whiskeys in 2021. Number eight. Number eight on my list is another Indiana native, another 95.5 MGP rye whiskey that made its way to Washington over to Doc Swinson where Doc Swinson's finished this 95 proof bugger in a rum barrel. This is Doc Swinson's alter ego. Rye whiskey finished in rum casks, 95 proof non-chill filtered and delicious. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly rummy. The rye and the rum play well together like two children on a playground in a sandbox. Doc Swinson's alter ego. It's a great and coming in at number eight. Number seven. Number seven on my list of top rye whiskeys for 2021 comes from a couple of gangsters with a bourbon podcast. Kenny and Ryan from the Bourbon Pursuit podcast were like, you know what we should do? We should source whiskeys, blend them together, and sell them for a profit. And this Pursuit United rye whiskey makes my top 10 list coming in at number seven. This bugger is 108 proof. They're sourcing their whiskey from Bardstown Bourbon Company and Sagamore Spirits. Distillate from Kentucky and Maryland. This is a delightful and unique and super sweet new entry into the market. And I can't wait to get my baby hands on a full size bottle. Number seven, Pursuit United Rye Whiskey. Number six. Number six on my list is another new entry to the whiskey market. These folks got their hands on some fancy glass, some butterflies, some sourced whiskey, and blended it all together to make this Blue Run Kentucky Straight Golden Rye Whiskey. The bottle is beautiful, the butterfly is blooming, or the butterfly is full, what do you call it, metamorphosis? What do you call it when the, the thing turns into a butterfly? Son of my bitch, it's called something, whatever it's called. Um, metamorphosis? Is that what it's called? Why doesn't that sound right? I don't know. Anyway, this is 95 proof, aged a minimum of four years. I love me some golden rye whiskey. It's number six. Number six, Blue Run Golden Rye. That brings us to our top five. Our top five, the top five best, most glorious and scrumptious, rye whiskeys that I had the pleasure of getting my tiny little paws on in 2021. Number five. Our fifth place bottle came to me early in 2021. It came to me early. I tasted it and I reviewed it and I liked it a lot. Throughout the course of the year, it continued to get better and better. And by the time the winter of 2021 rolled around, I tasted it again and said, my goodness, this is great. This is top 10 material. Turns out, 
top five material. Number five belongs to Michter's Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. My particular barrel number, 21B440, 108.8 proof, and it is one tasty bugger. Come to find out, I really enjoy the Michter's Rye Profile. It's not super high rye, matter of fact, a little bit lower rye on the rye side, and it is a tasty treat. If you can get your hands on one of these guys for a reasonable price, I recommend doing it. This barrel strength mixtures comes in at number five. Number four, this is a Jackie Zykin special. My number four rye whiskey in 2021, Old Forester Barrel Strength, single barrel rye whiskey. These barrel strength buggers are guaranteed to make you pucker up a little bit. They're a little bit on the hot side, they're a little bit on the spicy side, but they're a lot of bit on the yum side. This particular bottle checks in just over 128 proof and it is wicked in a good way. If you like the 100 proof version of Old Forester Rye, doesn't even matter. This is nothing like it. This is a whole new animal. It's like a silverback giraffopotamus. This bottling was high atop the list of demands that the people had, or wishes, if demands sounds too pushy. We wished for a barrel strength rye whiskey from Old Forester, and what we wished came true. Old Forester, barrel strength single barrel rye. Number four in 2021. Top three time, number three. Number three on my list might be a bit of a surprise. I'm sure some of you would think that this might have come in at number one or maybe number two on my list, but, but I was able to pick up a brand new bottle on New Year's Day, which made me reshoot this video because it bumped this bottle out of the runner-up spot and in to number three. Coming in at number three, a midwinter night dram. This mountainy bugger comes from Park City, Utah and the High West Distillery. It's all Shakespearean and whatnot. This is a glorious, wonderful, magnificent rye whiskey. It's so sweet and so inviting and so warm and fire-like. When I reviewed it, I fell in love with it. I loved it so much and I still love it so much, but, but, a Midwinter Nights Dram is one of those rye whiskeys where you only want to go to on the coldest of winter nights. And although I love this rye whiskey so much, two rye whiskeys in 2021 just stood a little bit taller. Thou art how tall and smart thou were to be ahead of the class and the head of thou art Midwinter Nights Drams finished ass. This French oak port barrel finished bitch Gets the bronze medal in 2021. Midwinter Nights Dram Thou Art in third place. Take thou seat on the bronze medal pedestal. Number two. This bottle coming in at number two was a late arrival. I picked this bottle up on New Year's Day because my wifey won a raffle over at Redlands Liquor in Grand Junction, Colorado. I didn't know how good this rye whiskey was until I popped the cork out of it, took a smell of it, and fell in love with it. Deep in love. So deep in love. The runner-up and number two rye whiskey on my list for 2021, Michter's 10-year Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. This son of a bitch has probably the best nose of, I don't know, any rye whiskey I've ever smelled. The 10-year oaky profile really jumps out of the glass and is really something special. This bad boy comes in at just under 93 proof, so it's not something that's gonna blow you away in the palate department but it's still super good. It's a great sipper. It's something that I wanna go back to over and over and over again. If you are a bourbon lover and you're trying to get into rye whiskeys and you wanna spend a buttload on a bottle and you find yourself in a situation to get one of these, I would say that this is probably the best, the best aged rye whiskey in the 10 year range for a bourbon lover. This is a bourbon lover's rye whiskey. All the things you'd want out of a low rye rye whiskey, plus some age, plus some oak. It's just remarkable. This is delicious, I absolutely love it, and it's the runner up in 2021. Number one, the champion. We are the champion, my free hand. 80 HD whiskeys, 2021 rye whiskey of the year. The 2020 world's top whiskey tasters 2021 Rye Whiskey of the Year goes to a bottle that 
is mind bottling, boggling, mind boggling. It's a delicious blend of rye whiskeys that just makes your head go in circles, like it's on a swivel or something. This flavorful funhouse comes from Old Carter, and it's Old Carter Batch 8 Rye Whiskey. This bad boy is 115.8 proof, and it's a spicy meat the ball. This is a rich and spicy and viscous. The nose is remarkable, the palate is outstanding, the finish is tremendous. If you like a spicy rye whiskey, something that just lingers, that lingers and sticks around, like a squatter in your guest house, this rye whiskey is the bomb. The Carters are magicians. They use magic hats with rabbits and magic wands, and they cut each other in half on stage in front of thousands and then put each other back together again like nothing ever happened. In theory, Old Carter Straight Rye Whiskey Batch Number 8 is my 2021 Rye Whiskey of the Year. Thank you for watching. This was a ton of fun. Top 10 baby, top 10 bitches, top 10 lists for days and days and days. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on knowing what you like, and then putting them in an order, and then rearranging that order in a new order. The porter order that isn't your porter order, it's whatever your last name is. Order. For example, if your last name was Jackson, it'd be the Jackson order. It doesn't sound as good as porter order, but you get the point. Anyway, compile your own list. What do you think? What did I miss? What did I leave out? And I know what you're thinking, seagrass. You're all thinking, what about barrel seagrass? I just wasn't, it just, it just didn't do it for me. Too sweet, too sweet, too wild and crazy and out there, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll taste it again and regret it. Sometime down the road, maybe I'll regret it. But seagrass just didn't do it for me. I don't know. Not everybody's the same. And you'd think I would like sweet stuff because I'm so huge, and it's true. But maybe I like to save my extra sweet stuff for, like, candy time before bed. Whatever. I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. See you next time. Good night.